So this is the uh, regional training center for uh, pre-deployment out here in Guam. Um, and here we just trained all the uh, canine teams in pac -Aff. They just come here for their pre-deployment. If they're deploying or not deploying, either way, if they're just here for sustainment, um, they come here and we pretty much train them in everything that they need to know when they actually do go overseas, if they do. So when they come here, they get exposed to uh, combat operations, uh, deployed environment uh, situations, field conditions, and they may get to do some things that they may have never done with their dogs, like clear out buildings for personnel and be integrated into full man fire teams or squads. Some of the scenarios that we run are pretty long. Uh, the weather out here is very hot, humid. Uh, we usually have on gear. You know, all the guns, helmet, a lot of times. Sometimes it's at night and uh, you'll be out there for multiple hours running different things, sometimes continuously. And, you know, so sometimes it's hard. You're hot, you're tired. Uh, the dogs are hot and tired. You gotta keep them motivated as well as, you know, be looking out for their well being. I think that's been the toughest part is just, you know, trying to maintain all that while still accomplishing, you know, the set task for those uh, training scenarios. I highly encourage anybody that wants to go canine. If you love dogs and you're willing to work a lot of hours, not have many off days, canine is definitely a, a very beneficial job to have in the military. And you get to save a lot of lives as well. The toughest part about this was probably night ops. With the training of my counterparts and the trainers, they were able to help me out. And uh, I'd say that's probably the best part too, because I was able to comprehend what was going on and fix it. and. Uh, get on the right track. The most fun I have is seeing the teams come through and accomplishing and getting better every day. That's, that's my fun day. I, especially going out in the field and decoying and putting the suit on and getting bit by the dog or even just setting up their detection problems and watching the students think and work together with their dog to become better and be one, that's 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 the best one of the best parts for me. The best thing about working with the handlers and the dogs is seeing the overall progression that they make throughout the uh, entire course. So they may come here, they may be, you know, a pretty young dog team, let's say a two year dog and a you know, just a handler, a green handler just out of tech school. Um, and they'll come here and we get we'll evaluate them that first day and by the time they're done with the course um you know they'll have evolved into a better dog team the worst part about it is you know when we say goodbye you know they're lifelong friends out of here